Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. My name's Insert Name here. Today we'll be adding the manual transmission to the Chaos Vehicle Blueprint. We're going to be adding a sequential one and also a normal one where you can switch all the gears individually. Um, we're going to use the Chaos Vehicle Blueprint for that, but you can use any Chaos Vehicle car, it would work the same. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now that you're in your Vehicle Advance Blueprint, we'll just go to our Vehicle Advance BP Blueprint, Chaos Vehicle Blueprint. And before we can actually add all the gearing code, we should go to our viewport, go to our Vehicle Movement Component, and we're going to have to disable a few settings that will interfere with what we're going to do. So under Mechanical Setup, you want to go to Transmission Setup, go to Automatic Transmission and turn that off. We also want to turn off automatic reverse and then we want to go to our vehicle setup and turn off reverses brake that's more reserved for arcade style controls now you could just save that we'll just go and dock this to our main window and also before we can add our gearing code to the event graph this is a added thing you don't really have to do it but i'm gonna add input in our project settings so go to your vehicle advanced example map Go to edit, go to project settings. Yeah, it's docked already, pretty cool. Uh, go to your engine, go to your input, and then go to action mappings. Now we're gonna add mappings for our sequential gearbox, but we're also gonna add mappings for all the gears so you can set the gear individually. So go to action mappings and just press add. And I'm gonna make one gear up. We'll just map that to shift. You can map it to anything you'd like. Then I'm going to make one gear down and just make that control. And then we're going to add one for each gear. So the first one would be reverse. And the second one would be neutral. And then we're going to add one for each gear. This is heavily dependent on how many gears you're going to have in your car. So just gear one. And you should just do this multiple times. I recommend having more than a set amount of gears, like maybe set the gear count very high, like 12, even if your cars won't have it in the game. The reason is, is if you ever add mod support, you can make people mod really weird stuff in your games, like trucks and stuff like that. So don't be a slouch with the gear amount of like mappings you do, but of course that's up to you, don't worry. You don't really have to. I'm going to map up to 6. So, or reverse, I'm just going to map it to 1, neutral, 2, gear 1, 3, gear 2, 4, gear 3, 5, gear 4, 6, gear 5, 7, and gear 6, 8. Awesome. Now we have everything set up to go to our Chaos Vehicle Blueprint. And then up here, we're just going to go search for our gear up in production. When this is pressed, we want to take our vehicle movement component, then get current gear, and then we want to take this return value and increment it because we want to add one gear. So go to pressed, just drag that in, and then we want to set our incremented integer. So we'll just go here and add a set target gear. This uh, confused me for a while. I wondered why a set current gear wasn't a thing, but it's actually set target gear. So don't let that confuse you. Just drag this in, drag it into gear number. You can choose to make it intermediate if you want. Um, just gonna leave it like it is. Now I'm also gonna copy this code with control W because the code is practically the same for downshift, just instead of incrementing, we decrement. I'll just move that up and then we're gonna search for gear down when that is pressed we want to go here and this increment of course make it decrement so go take this pressed then we want to decrement then just plug that in and take the current gear minus it with one and then set it as the target gear now we already made our sequential gearbox. You can click off the video if you just if you just want a sequential gearbox. I personally would complete this tutorial and make multiple gears like easy to switch to. So just go up here 
Now I'm just gonna add reverse as an imp. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. Just click reverse and look for the input action event. So reverse. When this is pressed, we want to take this code down here, set target here. Now we're gonna paste this code quite a lot because that's the fundamentals of changing gears. So this input action reverse, when it's pressed, we want to set to our target gear number to minus one. Then we're gonna go input action. Just make it neutral. Yeah, just go here and drag this, copy, so yeah, copy, control W, the input action's neutral. Let's drag all this down. And when this is pressed, gear number is zero. And for every gear above this, it's just going to be the number one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's not that hard to get right, but yeah. So action event gear one. We'll take that. Oh, yeah. Take that. And then you take the gear one pressed. Gear number should be one now. And like I said, it's going to be the same practically over and over and over. It's just repetition at this point. So while we have this repetition, <laughs> we can talk about something interesting. Um, let's see what I can think about. Uh, I actually find this way easier than working with Unity side of things. If you wanted to make a manual car in Unity, it takes way more than you might think. Um, Making them even a car in Unity is very hard. Um, Fizz X in Unity is quite interesting. The wheel colliders are weird. Making a car, it's just generally way harder than it is in uh, Unreal Engine. That's what I like about Unreal Engine with the fact that they moved to Chaos. Is they made making cars way more easier than Unity. I, I bought an asset for Unity, in fact. Uh, its name is uh, Eddie's Vehicle Physics, and it's it's a pretty cool physics asset to, uh, asset to make a car that can drive well. But it's, it's dumb that you have to pay for something like that, even if it's professional work. Eddie, you did a really good job with your physics asset. I mean, it's just dumb for Unity to not really care about vehicle physics. Especially the fact that they locked a few settings in a way you can't adjust them with physics. Anyway, when you go to your input action, gear 3, gear number 3, input action, gear 4, just be gear number 4, input action, gear 5, just 5, and input action, gear 6, just be 6. So let's just compile, save, and go to our vehicle advance map. So now you should see if I press W and S, it doesn't work at all. But if I press shift, yeah, up shifts. And if I press control two times, yeah, reverses. But I can also go to my keyboard and click around my gearbox. This car only has four gears currently. So yeah, that's all you really needed to do. Way easier than doing it in Unity. But yeah, this is all you needed. Now you have a sequential and a manual gearbox. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the content, please subscribe. Hit the like if you liked the video. Hit dislike if you didn't. And anyway, I'll see you guys later. Good night, everybody.